Hey, first grade. Next up, Harriet Gets Carried Away, written by Jessie Seema, who is the same author of another book that I've actually recorded already, Not Quite Narwhal. So if you liked that one, you might like this one. And while I'm reading, I want you to think about whether or not what's happening is real or imagination. And there's not a correct answer. Different people might have different opinions. Um, Harriet gets carried away. Sometimes the term if you get carried away it might mean you might get carried away with your imagination or you might have too much, you might just keep doing too much of something. Um, but it can also mean if someone picks you up and carries you away. Harriet gets carried away. Harriet loved costumes. She didn't save them for Halloween or only wear them to dress up birthday parties. Harriet wore costumes all the time. On the morning of her own dress up birthday party, Harriet was a busy bee. We still need to pick up some snacks from the grocery store, her dad said. And lots of party hats, Harriet said. Her dads shared a look. Okay, they said, but don't get carried away. Harriet was sure she could manage that. What do you think? Don't get carried away picking out too many hats. She changed into her extra special errand running costume straightened her bow tie, waddled down the street, through the subway. You might notice, I'm thinking she likes penguins. She's wearing a penguin costume, and there's a couple pictures of penguins. And into the store. Her dads seemed to have the deli counter covered. So Harriet set out on a quest for the perfect party hat. But instead, she found... You have a prediction? What do you think she finds? Something else. Oh, I need a bag of ice. Harriet forgot all about the party hats. She waddled past the checkout lanes, checkout lines, through the city and out of town. Where are we going? Harriet asked excitedly. Back home, of course, a penguin answered. The city's a nice place to visit, but I wouldn't want to live there. Can you find Harriet in the picture? As the balloons floated farther away from the city, Harriet's thoughts floated back to her birthday party. Excuse me, said Harriet. I don't think I belong here. That's okay, the penguins replied. Everyone feels like they don't fit in sometimes. Maybe you should lose the bow tie. But Harriet didn't care about fitting in. She cared about getting back to the store. So she straightened her bow tie and hatched a plan. <gasps> Looks like this is plan A. Doesn't look like it's working out. And another. Things were not going smoothly. Doesn't look like plan B worked either. Harriet was almost out of ideas when one emerged from the sea. Hey, said the orca, you're not a penguin. How did you know, cried Harriet. Penguins don't wear bow ties, he replied. Harriet realized this orca might be her ticket home. So she told him her tale of costumes and penguins and hot air balloons. She told him all about her family and her city and the party hats she needed to find. And when her story was finished, she said, I could really use a lift. It just so happens. I'm heading up north for a family reunion, said the orca. I could drop you off along the way in exchange for a fancy red bow tie. This seemed like a fair trade. As the orca swam, Harriet daydreamed. 
Once Harriet could make out the city in the distance, the orca came to a halt. This is as far as I can go, he said. So Harriet called in a favor from some friends she knew from the park. We'll take it from here, they said. Looks like she's whispering to them. Harriet soared back into the store and headed straight for the party hats. Party supplies. She found her dads at the deli, just where she'd left them. Where did you sneak off to, they asked. I just went to get the party hats, said Harriet. Oh, and I could use a new bow tie. With hats in hand, Harriet waddled back through the subway, up the street, and into her room. She put on her birthday party costume, straightened her party hat, and headed up to the roof. This time it looks like instead of a penguin, she's a... Uh... The party was a great success, and no one got carried away. I think there's one more picture. Yeah. Except maybe Olivia. And there's one penguin who looks like he's left in the city. The end. And I don't know if you guys remember. But in Not Quite Normal, Jessie Seema had a picture of herself at the end of her book dressed up like a unicorn. Um, and so this time she has herself in one of, a, one of her costumes. I'll read you the about the author part. Jessie Seema spent most of her childhood getting carried away. Sadly, never by penguins. She lives and works in New York City where she wears costumes whenever possible. Pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed.